What's poppin' bikes? Today we have a preview of the boys basketball and you're watching SVTV. When the crowd wants more, I bring on the thunder. Cause you got my back and I'm not going under. You're my point, you're my guard, go the perfect chord. And I see our names together on every billboard. We're headed for the top, we got it on lock, we we'll make them say, hey! and we'll keep rocking. FBLA is hosting a Christmas sweater dance this Friday after the basketball game. It will last until 11.30. Entry for all students is $5. Students, please bring in items from the Humane Society's wish list to E14. The winning student and three of their friends will get a special breakfast. The Viking Brew is selling t-shirts for $15 through December 15th. Pay the bank and bring your receipt to Mrs. Averill in W10. They're also announcing the release of new Christmas coffee flavors for the holidays. They will be released this Friday. FCCLA will be hosting a hat and mint tree. Bring any items to the east side of the commons to receive hot chocolate and a treat on Thursday, December 7th. Seniors, today is the last day to turn in money for the senior group picture. FCCLA members, don't forget to sign up for the adopted family gifts and bring them to school by Friday. Now on over to Kara to learn how the girls basketball did last night after a quick commercial break. This week, during lunch, the leadership class will be selling sweet, sincere, or prank Christmas gifts. Come pick up yours for $1. All proceeds go to the leadership class. Dashing through the snow. Ethan, what are you doing, man? I'm getting ready for this Friday. What's that? It's an ugly sweater dance. What do I need to bring? Well... That's my ugly sweater. Hey. The ugly sweater dance is gonna be this Friday, December 8th, from 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. in the Commons. Make sure to bring your ugly sweater for the basketball game too, because that's also the theme. The Varsity Girls basketball team won against Topeka High 47-34. Congratulations to the freshmen and JV teams that played that night too. Speaking of basketball, we asked a few boys players about how they think the season will go this year. The Seaman Boys basketball program is looking to improve upon last year's record of being 14-8. Team bonding is one of the keys to their success. I'm looking forward to playing with the guys one last time and just having fun up on the court. One of the things I'm looking forward to this basketball season is all the fun bus rides that we're going to have on away games. I know those were really fun last year. I got to hoot out of all of those. Uh, I'm just looking forward to working hard with the boys. Uh, going to Valley Center is going to be fun. Nice bonding opportunity. The basketball team is hopeful for their season. They are putting their focus on their new offense to make up for the many players that graduated from last year's team. We had a lot more depth. We had eight seniors and we had a lot more size. But this year we have a new offense, a new five out, four out, one in offense. And I think it's just going to be great for all our guards because we've got guards that can shoot the ball. The team lost their last game in sub-state to Shawnee Heights, who later went on to win state. This year the boys are working towards going farther than they did last year. I'm hoping to make it to state and uh, just win as many games as we can. This year, I'm hoping to accomplish, you know, establishing team chemistry, first off, that's really important, and just, you know, getting the guys to buy in and play team basketball and just, you know, to work hard and play hard every game and, you know, try and go out there and get a win. Trey encourages students to come out and support our Vikes this basketball season. This is going to be a really fun season. we got a great group of guys. I would encourage anybody to come to the game, so this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure to support the JV team against Lawrence Free State tonight at home and Varsity's first home game Friday. Now let's check in with Kai to see what the weather would be like. Hey 
Today, Vikes, it is currently 45 and tonight will be 24. For your three-day forecast, we have highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. Today in history, it's National Microwave Oven Day and it is Stephanie Scott's birthday. Now back to your anchors. Thanks for watching, Vikes. Make sure to bring in gifts for SCCLA's tree.